I haven't done one of these videos in a very long time, so bear with me. <laughs> I'm gonna review the Fenty Foundation, the Pro Filter Hydrating Foundation. I'm dry. I am so dry. The older I get, the drier I get. Now I'm in my 30s, my face is just becoming drier. I do still get like the oily spot here and there, but I used to be oily. I'm also going back to my more natural color rather than fake tanning, just because my skin, I feel like I'm just destroying it with fake tan. I needed a foundation that was gonna match me. This is in the shade 150. The first thing I do wanna say though, packaging wise, I'm not keen on the pump and tube situation. I find it odd. I'm not a fan of pumps. I prefer to just sort of pour out what I need from the bottle. First thing I'm gonna do though is moisturize my face. I'm not gonna use a primer because all the primers I have are like hydrating primers and I don't really want to affect the foundation really. I want to try and see the foundation for what it is. No mirror in front of me either. This, you, you just know I haven't done this in such a long time because I don't have anything <laughs> ready and I'm trying to do this whilst my kids are sleeping as well. So we'll see how far that goes. I'm just gonna go in with my usual foundation routine. F-A-T fat, flat, not fat, Kabuki brush from Sigma. We're gonna see what one pump looks like on our hand. So that is what one pump looks like. Straight away, I can see that it is a hydrating foundation. So that's a good sign. Like it's got that sort of shine to it. It does have a bit of a smell to it. Nothing strong. It's kind of like a, I don't know, like a powdery smell. Color wise though, it matches me. So if you are wondering, um, shade wise, in MAC I am an NC20 and in NARS I am Deauville. It's covered my spots quite all right, really. For a hydrating foundation, it's not too bad. And to be honest, I don't like full coverage foundations. The older I get, I just don't like it. I want something that will just make my face sort of look together, <laughs> less tired. I quite like this one because so far it's quite a medium coverage, which is actually quite nice, but because it's hydrating, it's giving off that healthy glow. I used to be matte, everything matte. Now I'm like, give me some hydration. <laughs> I'm a dry ass bitch. My nose is dry, and I'm gonna zoom you in in a minute. And it has kind of sat on my dry patches on my nose, which is really quite annoying. At the same time, I haven't actually um, exfoliated like I should, so really I should try it after I've done that. But the rest of my skin is not bad at all. I really quite like it. Now we're zoomed in. Hopefully you can see. Um, I haven't got loads underneath my eyes, so you will see dark circles. Uh, lack of sleep, children. Uh, thanks a lot for that. I will obviously go in with concealer anyway, but can you see it has like a bit of a shine to it? So you can see that it is a hydrating foundation. It's not drying too much but it's not to the point where it's really oily on my skin because I don't like that. I hate foundations that just don't sink into the skin and they sit on top of it and they feel tacky and like oily and horrible. This one does not feel like that at all so I quite like that. Um, it has, I don't know if you can see on the camera, it has sort of sat in some of my dry patches like I said but it's not too bad because um, I can kind of get away with it not being, you know, that bad. Um, whereas if it was a matte foundation, trust me, that would have looked 10 times worse and I'm not on it, just not on it. The smell, I can still smell it on my face, but it's not overpowering because I don't like a smelly foundation. <laughs> um, you know, like the Huda Beauty foundation, I just cannot deal with, I don't like it. I have got a review on that. I'll leave it linked below if you want to see, but that to me just, stinks and I can't deal with it. I don't like the way it sits on my skin and so much more. 
I am gonna set my face just sort of on and around my nose and around my mouth. Right, we are back. I use my RCMA No Color Powder if you are wondering. So, so far, I like the foundation. I think it sits nicely on my skin. It's not too drying and it still gives you that sort of hydrating sort of glow, but it's not in an oily kind of way. It's not too runny, so it still has that sort of hold. One thing I do like about the packaging though is it's very easy to put in your makeup bag. I quite like the fact that it isn't glass. Things don't get smashed and it's like easy to clean as well. I feel like they do get like really dirty and they're like really like clumpy, whereas this isn't. So when you put it in your makeup bag, it doesn't take up too much space. Can you, can you see the color difference? <laughs> I wouldn't say this is completely like hydrating, completely um, dewy. It's not a dewy foundation for hydration. <laughs> Does that make any sense? So usually when you get a hydrating foundation, they are very dewy, very shiny looking, a bit like the NARS Sheer Glow. I get that is a dewy, glowy foundation. This isn't like that. So for a hydrating foundation, this is more of a sort of satin feel. I think this is definitely a good everyday kind of foundation because it's not too heavy and it sits nicely on the skin and it does give you that slight shine, but not in an oily way. But this is obviously from the first application. It might completely change throughout the day. Who knows? We'll see. I'll come back to you later on in a few hours time and let you know how I got on. Hey guys, so it is a bit later on now. I'm getting ready for bed, so I have had it on all day. This is why I don't do makeup videos anymore. I'm not really keen on the gathering of the foundation, especially around my chin, so let's zoom in. Foundation's really gathered, and you can see around my nose it's come off. Like, I have blown my nose, I have touched my nose, I have worn a mask today as well, so you can see, um, sort of around these areas, um, it started to really gather. Underneath my eyes, ignore that because that's just not even a good found, um, concealer that I use, so ignore that. But foundation wise, like on my face, it's still got a bit of a shine. It's not completely tacky, it's just in the areas where I've got a little bit oily throughout the day. Overall, I like it. I think it's one of those foundations that you're probably gonna have to try and set throughout the day to maintain it. So for an everyday, like just normal foundation, I think it's brilliant. Like if you're one of those busy people that have meetings here and there, or you're going to a lot of events or whatever, and you need to look fresh from morning till night, then I think maybe not this foundation or at least touch up throughout the day. So anyway, I'm gonna go now, wash my face and get a shower and go to bed. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. And I'll see you in my next one. In time, I just want to show you Bye. what it's like. Bye. Bye. Bye.